um, okay guys so today um, topic we will be based on cash flow and how you can use cash flow in line to uh, understanding risk management and how you can grow your account either you are into business or you're into investment and into trading we are doing the fact that this is basically on forex trading and the financial market we mostly uh, mostly be used isn't it on our trading accounts so that we can easily grow our account and now be lacking behind and by the time i finish explaining everything to you guys based on this concerning this cash flow and your risk management i hope that you can uh, use that technique and the strategy to grow your account in line with every other thing you have learned from your smart money setup and entry and also understanding the market and also the algorithm so let's start off by trying to explain what cash flow is all about so right now uh, cash flow refers to uh, the movement of cash into or out of an account business or an investment the flow of cash could either be an asset or has a reliability so cash flow like i explained right here is you have a certain business right here we have a a chart right here where uh, we have an account we have a business or either an investment now this account is refers to your bank account and uh, in this case we can refer it to our trading account and we'll talk about business right here if you own a company you own a business, you sell products or stuff like that. And also we talk about investment when uh, we talk about investing on stock market, investing on crypto market, and also currency, also buying goods and services, investment on real estate and other stuff. Now we talk about the cash that flows out from this business, the cash that flows out from this account, the cash that flows out from an investment. All right so cash comes into the account into the business into the investment and also cash flows out of the account and also the cash that flows out of the account could be for the purpose of regularity and also the cash that comes into the account is from your assets all right so with time we'll get to talk about what asset is and what reliability is and how we can identify uh, how we can use this in our forex trading all right so an asset refers to something that is used to earn money into an account. It is an item that a company owns that can provide future economic uh, economic benefits. That is something that is used to make more money in return into an account, business, or an investment. That is to tell that there is a cash flow coming into an account from an investment or a business, and this investment could be from a real estate, and we have every other thing that can be an asset. Like if you own a company, your machinery is an asset. Why? Because it's used to produce products. And when you sell that product, it uh, gives you cash into your account. So it returns money into an account. So it's an asset is something that returns money into an account. All right. So it has a benefit. All right. It is used to make more money. And uh, as a trader, things that can be an asset to you is your uh, PC. And your phone, you the fact that it is used to what execute trade orders and uh, it's used to make profit. So money comes into your account; it's an asset, and it can also be used as a liability also because it, it, uh, some people don't use it to make money, but they use it to uh, to do social funds and um, they play games with it. Though there are games that pays, and you know. They don't use it to make money they use it and they spend money on it they spend data on it without using that same data to earn money so us traders we use our data we use our phone to execute orders to trade so that we can make profit all right so it's an asset to us why is the liability to orders so you can turn something into an asset and you can turn something into a liability and also if phone is a liability a physical liability because if it has some damage we spend money on them so it can also be a liability so a liability can be referred to an obligation that one has to do and this refers to the cash flow going out of an account or expenses done all right that would be that won't yield any return to you so a liability is what you owe other party and example of liabilities a loan a debt 
and um, some other stuff like that. Like so, uh, let me explain what I mean about liability and what I mean about assets. All right. So we talk about money, right? And now, how is money created? That's the big question. How is money created? Now, the banks print money. So I will not discuss about that yet. So debt generates money. All right, debt generate money. And how can debt also create money? So when we talk about debt creating money, it means a loan. So if I have money and you come to me for a loan, all right, so I'm giving you money to do your business, right? So now to me, debt to the lender is an asset because I lend you my money for you to pay me back in return and when you are paying me back you are to pay me with interest so it is an asset all right i i i gave you money to use it to do your stuff and you have to pay back to me in so so date and you pay with interest so that is how banks make money also they make money from loans and so it is an asset to me and to the borrower it is a it is a liability because if he has to put it on his business and he earned like five million and I lend him one million to pay me 50% interest or just for example so that means he will have to he made five million so the liability is for him to spend the one million which is what he has to give back to me and also the interest that I get involved so he is uh, he did not make much money right because he has to pay his debt so he pays it back to me I get my money back and I earn extra money from that from from what he pays me back so that is my interest and it's an asset to me to him it is a it is a liability so debt is money all right so that is by the way when we talk about real estate it means um, you bought a land for five million and you left it for a long period of time and has you left your land uh, it is yielding more money to you because by the time you have to sell it, you might be selling it at 10 million. So, and also, uh, when you rent a house, your uh, tenant pays you for the your own building, right? So your building is can be, can be used as an asset where uh, people have to pay rent to you, and you're using your investments to make more money. So that's an asset, and to uh, other people, it could be a liability because it's a duty for them to pay money out of the account. So, asset puts money into your pocket and your ability to take money out of your pocket. Now, we have types of cash flow and we have the op uh, operational cash flow received or spent results as company business activity, investment cash flow, and we are going to be focusing on investment cash flow and financial cash flow because this is basically what we do on trading. So, cash received or spent through investment activity, cash received through debt or paid out of out there has the debt repayment. So, I think. We'll be focusing on investment cash flow because we are into trading and investment. So this uh, is no how the cash receivers spent through investment activities. All right. So how can you use cash flow in trading forex and also applying risk management? So understanding cash flow helps one to manage your business and an account and helps one to be in a business for a long period of time as long as the cash flow is balanced. So that is cash that flows should be greater than the cash that flows out of the account. And that can be applied in forex trading using a calculated risk to reward ratio consistently so your profit should be greater than your losses so example of a better risk to reward ratio that i learned from uh someone um also who mentored me is one is to four and that could be used on a hundred dollar account now how is cash flow very very important in trading now this is something i get to understand and i learned from because I learn uh, from my mistake. So uh, now the big question to us traders is why don't we progress in trading and why do we stay in the same place that we are and our account is not growing. Now the reason for that is the cash flow and also the risk management, right? So that means when you're trading number one is you should know the algorithm and you should know your setup right and then we talk about risking a particular amount of money in on our account to make a certain a certain amount of profit now 
when we apply the understand of cash flow and risk management we can stay in that market for as long period of time because i see trading as a business all right and also uh, it will be very very difficult for you to go bankrupt on your account and uh, you wouldn't lose that much as long as you understand your cash flow and you know your risk management right so this is very very crucial and important that you understand your cash flow and you use it in your risk management so that you can be in trading and maintain that financial stability for as long as you can and um, you make more money and instead of losses so now when we talk about risk management in trading for example we were going to be using this on uh, one to four risk ratio uh, right here we are uh, talking about is right here so let's just say that you funded your account with hundred dollar right so you funded um, hundred dollar on your account so now we are using the uh, risk ratio of uh, uh, one is to four right so what does that mean it means that on a hundred dollar account uh, we are risking hundred dollar account we sorry about that we are risking we are risking uh, ten dollar to end words to end um, forty dollar on our account all right so now understanding this and um, I, I know accounting can be a very boring course in education but it helps as long as you are into trading it's very very important you know them so now you're risking ten dollar on hundred dollar account so how possible can you do that and you can see that it will uh, help you maintain your um, account in trading so that means that means uh on each um, trade execution on each trade on each trade execution we risks uh ten dollar we risk ten dollar and target forty dollar profit and we're done till we get to grow the account right so also it means also it means that to blow up your account to blow up your account you uh you have to lose 10 trades so now is that possible yes it is possible if you don't know your setup and you don't know uh places you have to get your entry and you don't know how to risk a certain amount of money and uh, you can't read the chart all right and you are not consistent you're not disciplined and you are not precious all right so now this is it right here right so where did it go oh god all right so my text disappeared so we are going to raise it again all right so we have a hundred dollar account i know this is stressing but i have to uh, do this all right so you need to be patient with me all right so we have the hundred dollar account uh rix ten dollar rix uh ten dollar to end uh, to end forty dollar so uh, that means that uh, that means um, to blow the account we have 
to lose 10 trades all right so that means that um, that means that ten dollar right ten dollar times ten dollar times ten trades ten dollars times ten trades is equals to what is equals to hundred dollar right so we do that right here is equals to hundred dollar all right so uh, in profit we target forty dollar right so we have forty dollar times uh, ten trades right forty dollar times ten trades is equals to uh, four hundred dollar right so is equals to four hundred dollar right so um that means we will be targeting a um, profit target so we have a profit target of four hundred dollar right so we have a profit target of four hundred dollar so that means if we have a hundred trade successful that means we'll be having four dollar and then the uh, then the net profit will be uh, four hundred dollar plus your hundred dollar right plus your hundred dollar so that should be equals to five hundred dollar that you will make if you have a straight 10 trade profit so that would be um profit of 500 dollar all right so we are growing if we have to do something like this right so we are growing now let's talk about 10 trades and we talk about one is to four risk ratio right so now let's just say we have 10 trades right and then we have um let's calculate we have seven wins and we have three losses right three losses uh excuse me all right so we're back so we have seven wins and we have uh seven and two losses so that will be equals to 10 trades right now remember the cash flow and remember how we can use it to maintain our trades account so seven wins and we have trailers so uh, then we now solve the mess seven wins is equals to seven trades right seven trades times uh, 40 dollar right so we have seven trades that's 40 dollar so that will be what so if we click on our calculator and we get to calculate that sorry i not good at math and i have my calculator so we have seven times 40 trades right so that would be equals to uh 280 dollar right so we made 280 dollar all right so for three losses right is equals to uh three trades three trades times 10 because you are to risk ten dollar uh your account nothing more than that all right so we have three trades times 10 right so we have three trades times 10 and that would be equals to the risk loss of what thirty dollars so now what is the cash flow what is the cash flow you can see that um the cash flow you can see that the profit we made is more than um the thousand dollars so the cash that comes in is higher than the cash that goes out all right so the cash flow that goes out is thirty dollar and the one that comes in is uh two hundred eighty dollar right now we have seen this and then we have um 
um, total prof total income all right total profit and loss so let's do like that profit and loss so where is that and loss all right so we have total profit and loss is equals to what we have um, two eighty dollars we have two eighty dollars minus um, thirty dollars right so that will be equals to what 280 minus 30 what would it that give you so we have 280 minus 30 dollars and we are having total profit and loss is what plus 250 dollar right so we have plus 250 dollar in our account all right so that means that our net profit our net uh profit and loss is equals to what uh, remember we have a hundred dollar account so that would be uh, two fifty dollar two fifty dollar right plus what plus hundred dollar so what would that be we are having uh, that would be equals to we're having three hundred and fifty dollar in return so now are you progressing or are you having a loss right here now you see how we can use cash flow in terms of risk management and in terms of maintaining our trading account and our business all right so this is just the math in it so we have if we have to execute the trades perfectly and we have seven wins and three losses we have 10 trades because to blow our account you have to lose 10 trades straight all right so you have seven wins you have seven trades times the 40 dollar target profit you have 280 you have three losses 10 dollar risks on each account you had a loss of 30 dollar your total profit and loss is what your profit minus your loss and you have 250 and then your net profit and loss they will be added into your account is that 250 plus the hundred dollar and we have the total profit of uh total income of 350 dollar so did you grow or not now check the money that comes in and check the money that goes out now as you may have a hundred dollar account and we're executing a trade risking twenty dollar imagine risking twenty dollar a hundred dollar account if I have to use one of the four, I'm risking twenty dollar account to get what profit? Forty dollar. Does that make sense? Will you actually grow perfectly in your account, and will you maintain in trading? Will you maintain trading? So let's do a vice versa for it. So let us say we have um, seven losses, right? We have seven losses because you know we don't always win the market all right you have seven losses so that means you have seven times seven trades times what uh thirty dollars right sorry seven trades times ten dollars right so uh sorry about that we have seven trades times ten dollar and that will be equals to uh seven times ten that will be seventy dollar right so we have a risk of uh seventy dollar so we now have um three wins right we have three wins so that will be equals to three trades three uh trades times three trades times uh forty dollar right so we have forty dollar and that will be equals to what three times 40 right so we have three times 40 that will be equals to 120 dollars so you can see that you are still <laughs> in this market because you had your three wins still made you 120 and your seven loss made you uh 70 dollars so that means your total your total uh, profit and loss your total profit and loss would be what you uh, subtract your profit from your loss so that would be 120 120 minus minus what uh, 70 dollar right 
so we have one twenty dollars minus seventy dollars and we impute that on our calculator to see what we have so we have one twenty dollars minus seventy dollars and we are having what we are having fifty dollar right there so <coughs> we had equals to fifty dollar so we impute that right there right it's equals to fifty dollar so now our net profit our net profit our net profit and loss so we put that calculator our net profit and loss will be what it will be equals to uh, your hundred dollar account right your hundred dollar account plus uh, your total profit and loss so that will be your hundred dollar account plus your fifty dollar you can see that uh, you still progress right because you're now having your account being on how much have your account being on 150 dollars so you still made profit your account did not go downwards right now you now have a nice profit of 150 dollars so we get to use this one 150 dollars so that means remember you are still risking one is to um four right so um we now talk about having a $150 account, right? So that means you have grown, right? And you are still yes to maintain the uh, one is to four account. So that means the one is to four account means that you are not going to be risking $15 on a $150 account. So to blow the account, you need to execute 10 trades to blow your account. Right, so let's do the same thing. Seven wins and uh, seven losses. So we have seven wins is equals to uh, seven trades. Uh, let's take this off and go to like that. So we have seven trades plus uh, seven trades plus forty dollar. Right? No. Um, if we are to risk fifteen dollars, so that means our profit will be sixty dollar, right? So uh, sixty dollar means that uh, fifteen times four, all right? Fifteen times four is sixty dollar, just like we did ten times four is forty dollar profit, all right? We're targeting that. So when it comes to one fifty dollar, it will be fifteen dollar loss and sixty dollar profit. So that will be plus sixty dollar, right? So we now have it plus sixty dollar and. Uh, that would be equals to what seven times 60 right so uh, seven times 60 we'll be having 420 dollar right we'll be having 420 dollar account right so we, sorry about this one this is times and not plus all right so we're having 420 dollars so let's talk about three losses we have three losses right here so three losses is equals to um, three trades that you risked uh, ten, uh, you risked fifteen dollar, right? So that will be times fifteen dollar, times fifteen dollar, and uh, that will be equals to three times fifteen. You do the math, so we have fifteen times three. Uh, we'll be having uh, forty-five dollar, right? So. <coughs> You now risk for five dollar, and then your total, your total profit and loss should be equals to what? Uh, four twenty dollar. We have four twenty dollar minus uh, minus four to five dollar, right? So we have four twenty minus four to five dollar, and that will be equals to what would that give you? We have 420 minus 45 we have 375 dollar right so we have 375 dollar so that means our net our net uh, profit and loss we be equals to sorry about that our net profit and loss we be equals to what that will be equals to um 
we have a $150 account $150 account um, plus $150 account plus $375 right so we have $375 and that will be equals to $150 plus $375 you're having a total profit of plus five hundred and twenty five dollar so you can see how you maintained yourself in this chart right here so all right so we have them right here we have it right here we have it right here and we have it right here so if you keep this going on you can see that you are not going to lose your account easily all right you will always maintain a trading account so let's do the last one to end the session so we will do uh, several losses on a $150 account and then uh, three wins on a $150 account right so we do it now and right here we put a text so we talk about seven losses on the $150 account, all right? So we have an account, we have an account of, account of uh, $150, right? So now the $150, we have seven straight loss, seven losses is equals to uh, seven trades times, seven trades times uh, how much are we risking we are risking uh, $15 right so we have seven trades times $15 and that should be equals to seven times 15 right so we have seven times 15 uh, sorry about that we have seven times 15 that should be equals to $105 all right so we have $105 dollar loss right so let's see what happens if we have three wins so three wins is equals to three trades um, times uh, remember we are to target the profit of sixty dollar right so that will be plus uh, seven times sixty dollar and then that should be what that should be $180, all right? So that should be $180. Put so on our dollar, we have $180, all right? So our total profit and loss, total profit and loss, that should be equals to um, $180 minus $105, all right? So we have one eighty dollar minus one hundred and five dollar, and we are having uh, seventy five dollar, right? So that means our uh, uh, net profit is uh, equals to. Remember, we have an account of one fifty dollar, so we have one fifty, one fifty plus uh, seventy five dollar that gets into that got into our account from our trades. All right, so we have 75. So uh, that should give us 200. That should give us uh, $225. Right there. So now, did your account glow or did it go to the downside? So that is an example of how you can use cash flow to understand uh, how money comes into your account and how money flows out of your account and how you get to use it to do your risk management all right so now another thing is that you should not trade from your account all right we trade to grow all right this is business all right Im imagine this is your only source of income like you decide to focus only on trading right and then since you decide to focus on your trading, you don't want to go a job or you don't want to have another source of income, you just want to be trading for a living, 
then you need this risk management all right you need this risk management so you keep on growing and make sure you know what you're doing don't lose 10 trades all right don't lose 10 trades so you can check the rest eight losses and some wins two wins and you check all the stuff and you see your progress and maintain consistently this risk management and understand cash flow and don't withdraw from your accounts you only withdraw just later all right imagine i made 225 dollars i might withdraw just 20 dollars all right so we don't make two we can't make 200 dollars and you are withdrawing uh 180 dollars you are not growing all right you're drawing yourself backwards so how are you supposed to grow in your business so this is how you understand cash flow if too much money goes out of your account like you withdraw too much money from your account how are you supposed to grow your business how you're supposed to grow your investment how you're supposed to grow in trading all right so you should make money that flows in to be higher than the money that goes out of your account all right and it's very important that you can have another source of income and you leave your trading account and keep on growing it till you're satisfied to be until you start making millions to become rich all right and even though you keep on losing don't give up all right so maintain the risk management and know understand what cash flow is and please and please and please trade with your smart money setup and don't risk more than ten dollar if you're having a hundred dollar account don't make don't risk more than eight because this will spoil it will damage your balance sheet all right so we talk about balance sheet to so damage it and your cash flow will not be balanced all right so uh thank you for your time today see you guys next time be safe